Hey everyone, today I want to test out if a super hydrophobic straw actually works to suck up water. We're well aware that when things are hydrophobic, it repels water. But the thing that we sometimes forget is because it repels water, that means that it has a layer of air in between it. This sand is hydrophobic sand, so when we put it under water, you can see this glistening shiny layer around it. That actually is the air that's trapped in there. If I put it in a vacuum chamber, you can suck out the air, and once I do that, the sand is no longer hydrophobic. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it crumbles apart. So that got me thinking, what if I made a hydrophobic straw? Would I actually be able to suck up water with it? Because if you think about it, the way a straw works is you have to create a vacuum in the top of it, but if there's an air layer around the liquid inside of it, will it just suck up air into your mouth and you won't be able to create a vacuum to suck it up. In order to turn this into a hydrophobic straw, I'm going to be coating it with fumed silica. Now fumed silica has a cool ability to make anything that it touches hydrophobic. So I have some water in this cup. I'm gonna dye it red. Let's see what happens when we drop water through our regular straw here. So it's about what you'd expect here. Kind of just fills up the straw and dribbles out the end. Now let's check our super hydrophobic straw. Whoa! <laughs> you see the drop shoot out of it? <laughs> They have almost no friction going through there, so they just shoot out the end. Now let's see what happens if I try to plug up one end of it. It won't stay in the tube. Look at that. It just falls out. There's a regular straw, easily stays in. I have to let it go for it to fall out. But the hydrophobic straw, you can't plug it up. The water just falls out. <laughs> Look how crazy this is. Both ends are plugged. Compared to a regular straw here, you can see when I don't plug the ends, it can move fine, but plug the ends, it's completely locked in there because the air can't get past it. But look at my hydrophobic straw, plug the ends and it can still move just fine. You can see that the liquid dents in around it. You can also see how it's shiny around it. That's because there's air surrounding the inside and outside of the straw. So what happens if I try to suck through it now? So if I leave the straw submerged, I can suck it up just fine. But if while I'm sucking, I lift the straw out of the water, the water just falls out of the straw. <laughs> I can't suck it up. So I got contacted by a physicist that works on Higgs boson measurements, and he told me that he was coming out with playing cards that represent all the major players in quantum mechanics. And because I love quantum mechanics, I couldn't help but showing you how cool these cards are. So this is a standard deck of playing cards, but the face cards on it represent different scientists in quantum mechanics. For example, this is Schrodinger himself, but I'll let you figure out these other ones. They're pretty cool. And also included is a double slit experiment you can do. If you cut these in the right spots, you can do your own double slit experiment at home. He's doing a Kickstarter for these cards. If you want to support them and get your own physics cards, I'll put a link in the description. So that was pretty cool. A hydrophobic straw doesn't work very well, like I had predicted but it did work very well when it was in the water. That's because the water on the outside is able to collapse around it enough so that it doesn't get one continuous airflow up through around the straw. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. 
And check out the Action Lab Shorts channel where I do videos similar to this channel, but a lot shorter in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.